The martyrdom of 14 Hazara Shiites in the border regions of Daikundi and Ghor provinces in Afghanistan has elicited widespread domestic and international reactions. Several human rights organizations, political parties and civil activists have described this attack as part of the ongoing genocide of the Hazaras and a crime against humanities. More details in the following report. On Friday, September 13th, the bodies of the 14 Hazara Shiites who were martyred on Thursday, September 12th at the border between Daikundi and Ghor were laid to rest. This horrific event has garnered extensive responses both domestically and internationally, being viewed as a continuation of the genocide of the Hazaras and a crime against humanity. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, condemned this brutal attack and reiterated the need to protect civilians in Afghanistan. The United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan, UNAMA, has also called for the accountability from the Taliban regarding this attack. On Friday, September 13th, UNAMA condemned this deadly assault in a message shared on X, formerly Twitter. Richard Bennett, the UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights, stated that this attack bears signs of international crimes and expressed concern about a wave of attacks claimed by the extremist Sunni group ISIS. The US State Department, the Japanese Embassy and the Iranian Foreign Ministry have all issued statements strongly condemning the attack against the Hazara Shiites in Afghanistan. Numerous political figures, parties and citizens of Afghanistan have reacted widely to this attack, considering it a continuation of the genocide of the Hazaras. Social media users in Afghanistan have responded to this attack using the hashtag Stop the Genocide of the Hazaras, criticizing the Taliban's policies toward the Hazaras and Shiites. Hazara activists assert that attacks against Hazaras in Afghanistan are conducted in a targeted and systematic manner, with individuals being targeted due to their ethnic and religious identities. They claim that these attacks occur with the collaboration of the Taliban and urge the international community to recognize the genocide of the Hazaras and implement special mechanisms to ensure the security of Hazaras in Afghanistan. In recent years, targeted killings of Hazaras due to their ethnicity and religion have increased across Afghanistan making this ethnic group one of the most vulnerable social segments. With the rise of the Taliban, which itself has been accused of widespread crimes against Hazaras, concerns about the security of these Hazara Shiites have significantly intensified. Reports from reputable domestic and international media, research institutions and government agencies indicate that Hazaras are facing the worst social, political and economic conditions during the Taliban's rule.